ditch you to go away to their happy little families um, and go have a nice little dinner with them. Not me. Not me. I'm stuck back and I'm alone on Thanksgiving. All alone. Wicked. It's about to get real fucking wicked up here. Like I stated on the podcast, I've been surrounded by death recently. My grandpa, my brother, my bug. And I just have this gut-wrenching feeling that one of those motherfuckers are next. One of my close friends. And that's not a threat. I'm not threatening them. I'm just saying they should keep one eye open when they're asleep and not trust everybody around them. Everything I fucking do is fake. Look at this bullshit. Y'all are balanced on top of infinite jest and a heater. And you want to know something crazy about infinite jest? Fuck that book. I said it. Fuck that book. It's too dense for my ape brain. I can't understand anything that's being said ever. There's not enough sex. It's too depressing. It's too existential. It's too correct. The writing style is really cool, but it makes me feel very unspecial. So I don't recommend it. I got like 60 pages in. Mm, not picking it back up. Don't plan on it. Never will. But it is cool to just have um, and look at and act smart. And that's what I do. I have it in my bookshelf, so when people are looking at my bookshelf, they're like, oh, fuck, like, he's got infinite jests in there. I wonder, like, he must be smart. He must be, he must know things. Oh, I played some video games this morning, and I started recording that, and the very first fucking game I played, I won. As a straight man, because I am straight, the straightest man you'll ever see, I play Call of Duty. Um, so I'm gonna hop into a lobby and play a couple rounds with my brothers. kind of a savant when it comes to video games. I'm kind of, well, this is just in general. I am definitely smarter than everybody else around me. I know everything. No one can tell me that I'm wrong because I'm right. My ego is massive, but not in an unhealthy way. Do y'all ever like do that? You're just like kind of, just like chilling, existing, and you just like forget to eat. I know that's, that's probably like a sign of mental illness or something, but you know, I'll make that again for you guys. How about that? Y'all get to see my concoction again. Day, day, one, day, you see. I decided to switch up. I normally drink tap water. I think there's nothing wrong with tap water. Um, however, I did have a great conversation with my dear friend Emma. And she said that ever since moving to LA, she's only drank tap water. And before Los Angeles, she had healthy shits. Now after drinking tap water in Los Angeles, she has unhealthy constipated shits. I'm not saying that my constipation, my chronic disgusting constipation is due to the tap water in Los Angeles, but it is not a coincidence that I moved here and it got a little bit worse, but that's neither here nor there. I say as I'm about to put just a bunch of random fucking chemicals into my body. Hold on. I've updated the stack. So now I have magnesium. I've got iron, B12, stamen 7, ashwagandha, and of course, chlorophyll. Now, I do look batshit fucking crazy. I know, putting all these random fucking chemicals into my body, but it makes me happy. It makes me feel like I'm doing good. I don't even really mix it because it all goes in the same place. 
but I chug it because it tastes like shit. Just finished some more editing. Um, that video is already up. Before we get any further into this video, I'm proud to say it's sponsored by Case Defy. Come on, Case Defy. Yeah. Psych. I'm not worried at all because I got the case to fight case on my phone. Case to fight cases are great because their impact and impact ultra cases are made with 65% recycled material and they're plant based. As demonstrated earlier, their new Chi Tech technology protects the shit out of your phone. Like I dropped it from like five and a half feet in the air and it literally is unscathed. On top of all that, they have so many customizable options. Here I have the 100% compostable case, which is just an, a great base color. And I added the stars to it. On this one, I added stinky, cause I'm a little stinky boy. And on this one, I added rotten because I'm rotten. Caseify is keeping you safe. They're made with 100% non-toxic materials. They also feature an antimicrobial, antimicrobial coatings on the case so you are safe from bacteria and germs and shit. If you're interested in the Caseify case, go to casetify.com slash drewphillips for 15% off your order. Thank you so much Caseify for sponsoring this video. Mm, let's get on with it. I'm having a very productive day today. I edited, finished editing, shot a brand deal, and now in the same day, I am filming this video. Yeah, and while I'm waiting for that other video to process, I am designing my merch. But I'm trying to like, conceptualize like a, more of like a comic book strip or comic book slide thing. And I have a pretty solid one that I'm like, like pretty stoked about. Also, I feel like I haven't updated y'all on my room in a while, but I may be like completely tripping. But I got a bunch of new plushies, like just Nintendo plushies from Nintendo World. KK Slide, I got Perk 30 Mario, I got the twin raincoat Pikachus back there, Totodile. Then I got a Heaven plushie right there. Damn, yeah, I have gotten a bunch of things since y'all have last seen it. There's that corner. It's no longer a seating corner. I'm thinking of getting like a really moody lamp and taking out the chair or getting a different chair and just making that like a really moody lamp corner. But me and Orion, hopefully sometime this week are gonna go lamp shopping and get me a couple lamps because I feel like it's very needed for my room. I don't know. Is there anything up here that's new? I don't think so. I don't think so. Got a couple stickers. I got this pyrite in Matrix. Incredible. That's naturally occurring. So weird. So weird that we have shit like this on Earth and like no one really gives a shit. There's Infinite Jest back in the shelf. I think I showed this. I may not have shown this. Um, but my friend Finn, Finn Barrett painted this. And I bought it from him because I was like, this is like really incredible. It's like the first painting in a long time that's like, like spoken to me, I guess. And it's just, ever since I bought it, it's sat behind my door, um, but it's perfect for right up there. I'm just waiting to get it framed. Cool. Like it was his first like attempt at acrylic paint, which like, are you fucking kidding me? Like this is your first attempt in like three, five years, like, so incredibly talented. Day, day, one, day, see. I also got like a bunch of like clothes, but I kind of like don't really think anybody gives a shit about what I wear. It's just like a bunch of like 70s crew necks that are like beat the fuck up and just disgusting. I got a really cool t-shirt actually, a couple cool t-shirts that every time I wear I get compliments on, which is really cool. That actually is insane, like 
how much like a good it doesn't even have to be a good outfit but like if it feels good on you or to you like it changes your entire day I, I've never really experienced I know that's not a hot take but I've never really like experienced that until like I wore these like three shirts that I got recently and got like a shit ton of compliments on them and I was like wow I am walking a little lighter today I feel a little bit better but yeah and then I also got these um, I think they're from Mont Bell, so it's like a hiking company, but I think they're like boot liners maybe, or like, I don't know, but I, I assumed like you wear them in a tent with like your wool socks on inside of them and it like keeps your feet super warm, but I just wear them like house shoes because my feet are fucking freezing all of the time. It's actually absurd how like cold I am in this goddamn house all the time. It's not even like cold. I just am like a cold person. Yeah, I don't know. That's like a little update on my room. I have a bunch, like I'm taking down the posters over here, the, I don't know what the fuck those are, what to call those. I might not take them down, I don't know, but I got a bunch of like really high quality prints that I bought from friends or was given to by like Inya's brother Dante um, and I really want to frame them and put them up on my wall because those are just old, tired and easily replicated and I kind of have, I don't know, some sort of complex that makes me want to feel individuality, individual complex, I don't fucking know, um, that makes me want to be different from everybody else because I have seen it replicated. I broke my favorite candle. Uh, but I burned it anyways because I was like, what's the worst that could happen? Like, candle wax spilling out and yeah, it happened, but it sealed the cracks. So, God has smiled on me. God has smiled on me. What else? That's my update for now. It is a few days later, too, to be precise, since those last clips were recorded. I just didn't feel up to it kind of, it was nice just like completely isolating myself. Like for the past like, I think three days I've been like completely alone. I did want to show this off real quick cause I got this the day that I was filming but I just didn't film myself buying it. But it's called Lip Cream and it's by Luis, Luisia, I, I don't know. I just saw it at this like, I think Japanese beauty supply store cause I get that like face wash shit and it's like special edition and I got the one with Mew on it. I'm normally not, I mean, this is not a surprise, I'm a fucking white man, but I'm not a chapstick person. But I started using this and it has hyaluronic acid in it, which at first I had no idea what the fuck that was. It sounded like literally it was gonna melt my fucking lips off. But I put it on and my lips tingle, but it's like a very comforting tingle and I'm addicted to it. It's fucked up. Oh, look how fucking cute this is. I'm just kind of thinking like, I don't know what this video is. I don't know. It's kind of existing today. Also, I feel... Wait, what the fuck? I just noticed that it's like... Have I just been existing with... No. <gasps> oh my god. <sighs> I did not realize... Oh! It's like... It's like tending.